10 Secrets of Ancient Egypt Number 10. Who Built the Pyramids? Despite the prevalent myth that the pyramids were built by Israeli slaves, Egyptologists have determined that the pyramids were built by paid Egyptian laborers. Evidence shows that around 20 to 30,000 laborers were recruited from poor families around Egypt to complete the enormous construction over a period of 20 years. Laborers were extremely respected for their work and fed like royalty. The work was incredibly hard and dangerous, but those who died during the construction had the high honor of being buried near the sacred pyramids. Number 9. Medicine The ancient Egyptians were renowned for their medical knowledge, so much so that rulers of other empires would request that the pharaoh send their Egyptian physicians to treat their own ill-loved ones. Despite Egyptian doctors having an extensive knowledge of the medicinal properties of the plants around them, cures for ailments still included a magical spell. As well as herbal remedies, many other cures were based on sympathetic magic. For example, it was believed that a crushed up pig's eye used in the treatment would transfer the power of sight into the patient's eye. Number 8. Shape-Shifting Jesus in 2013, an ancient Egyptian text was deciphered, retelling the crucifixion of Jesus, but with surprising plot twists. Dating back 1,200 years, the ancient text paints a markedly different picture of Pontius Pilate, the judge who ordered Jesus' execution. Instead of sharing his last supper with his twelve disciples, the text states that Jesus shared his last meal with Pontius Pilate, who offered to sacrifice his own son in order to save Jesus' life. Even more shocking are the allegations in the text that Jesus was a shapeshifter, with the ability to change from white to red or young to old. Number 7. Heb said. After a pharaoh had ruled for 30 years, they took part in a strange ritual, known as Hebsed, in order to prove that they still had the power and strength necessary to rule the kingdom. The ceremony, which once initiated took place every three years until the pharaoh's death, saw them dressed in a short kilt, with a bull's tail on their back, as they were forced to run as fast as possible around a racetrack. In early practices of the ceremony, any pharaoh too unfit to complete the course was sacrificed and replaced with a fitter successor. Number 6. White Pyramids When the Great Pyramid of Giza was completed in 2560 BCE, it was plated with a smooth surface of polished white limestone, which gleamed in the sun's light. However, in 1301 CE, a massive earthquake hit Egypt and loosened many of the casting stones. The damage to the outer pyramids prompted rulers to reuse the stones to build mosques in Cairo. As impressive as it still looks, what can be seen now of the Great Pyramid of Giza is just its core structure. Number 5. The Female Pharaoh One of the most successful pharaohs to rule ancient Egypt was almost lost to history, until her story was uncovered on temple walls during the 19th century. Hatshepsut came to the throne of ancient Egypt around 1478 BCE. During her reign, Egypt enjoyed great peace and prosperity. Hatshepsut cultivated beneficial trade routes and oversaw incredible construction projects throughout her kingdom. However, 20 years after her death, her successors began a campaign of erasing Hatshepsut from history. Statues of her were destroyed and her name was scraped off the buildings constructed under her rule. Number 4. Sunken Cities Thonis Heracleion, one of the greatest cities of ancient Egypt, remained lost for 1,000 years, until it was rediscovered underwater only 20 years ago. Thought to have been founded in 7 BCE, Thonis Heracleion was a major trade center linking ancient Greece, Egypt, and the wider Mediterranean. Archaeologists excavating the site have found a host of perfectly preserved pillars of hieroglyphics, as well as statues of Greek gods and rulers depicted in the fashion of Egyptian pharaohs. It is thought that the discovery of the lost city will transform our understanding of the deep connection between the ancient civilizations. Number 3. Masturbation Rituals 
In ancient Egyptian mythology, the god Atum created the universe by masturbating into the vast nothingness. Meanwhile, the other gods spontaneously grew out of Atum's ejaculate. The ebb and flow of the river Nile was also attributed to Atum's semen. This concept inspired the annual pharaoh ceremony, in which, as God's representative on earth, the pharaoh had to recreate the creation myth. In front of a crowd, the pharaoh would masturbate and ejaculate into the river Nile, in order to ensure a year of bountiful harvest. Number 2. Biblical Plagues Scientists have found evidence that the biblical plagues that ruined ancient Egypt in the Old Testament were due to global warming and a volcanic eruption. The reported plague of the Nile, which turned the river's water into blood 3,000 years ago, is hypothesized to have been caused by the arrival of bacterium, known as burgundy blood algae, which stain water red. The scientists claim that the algae attracted frogs, lice, and flies, which led to diseased livestock and boils. Furthermore, there is evidence that the Santorini volcano, which erupted 600 kilometers away, threw ash into the air as far as Egypt, which would have blocked out the sun and plunged Egypt into darkness. Number 1. Incest in ancient Egyptian mythology, many deities were married to their siblings. Although there is little evidence to suggest that common Egyptians married their siblings, incest was rife for generations of the royal family. Due to siblings marrying each other, many members of the royal family, such as Tutankhamun, suffered from a range of malformations, infections, and genetic diseases. He suffered from weak bones and was unable to walk without help, contributing to his early death at age 19. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not head over to our brand new channel, Day vs. John, where this week me and Dave will be having a fight towards where we'll be talking about a man who saved a billion lives, Italian mutants with super blood, and a rare disease that makes you sweat blood. So if you want to check that out, click here, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys.